What is up, guys? Zane from the Zan Madden channel. In today's video, we're going to show you a cover two money concept out of the Oakland Raiders, Washington Redskins, and Jacksonville Jaguars offensive playbooks. But before we get into the tip, guys, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you guys are notified every day when I upload here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. If you guys want to watch me play Madden Live, check me out on the Twitch platform, twitch.tv slash ozano. The link is below in the description. And if you guys want to subscribe to me over there, I do have exclusive sub-only content that I give my Twitch subscribers that you will not find here on the YouTube channel. If you guys have Amazon Prime, that means you have Twitch Prime. That'll give you one free sub that you can give to any content creator on Twitch. And you guys will receive sub tips as well as my Washington Redskins offensive playbook when I drop that here sometime within the next 10 days to two weeks. So I want to give you guys a sneak preview here in this video of a formation that is actually in the Washington Redskins book, but it's also in the Raiders book, which is great because many of you guys are players who run the meta. You guys like to run the ball out of the run sets out of the Raiders book, but you do want something that can help kind of uh, move the ball downfield. Now, everyone knows the traditional passing formations in the Raiders playbook. They know the tight slots halfback week. They know the uh, the Trey Y flex type formations they know the money passes that you have out of the run first formations and what they don't really know is kind of the more off the beaten path type things like for instance the doubles off lows and what we're going to be looking at here is a route combination that you can run out of this formation because of the way this formation lines up and what we're going to do here is we're going to put the wide receivers to the wide side of the field pre-snap and we're going to put the outside receiver on a fade and what ends up happening in this formation is that the outside receiver on the fade against cover two almost always gets an outside release, beating the cloud flat to the outside. Now, for those that don't know what the cover two is about, they talk about what's called an MIR in cover two. In coaching speak, that stands for mandatory inside release. Uh, they want that cloud flat player to be able to shove that outside receiver inside towards the numbers to make the safety's job easier. So anytime you can get a release to the outside of the cloud flat, that makes the safety's job harder. Now, to start off this video here, we've got Earl Thomas in the zone. Earl Thomas in the zone, he's going to have his zoned out ability geeked. He's going to have his break on ball geeked. He's going to have his pass breakups geeked. I want to show you that, you know, in this scenario, the worst of the worst case scenarios where you're facing a safety like this, this throw is still possible. So you're going to see right here how I'm just going to throw this outside pass lead and I'm going to toe, toe drag on the sideline and fall down for a first down. All you have to do is watch that release. He's going to get this release almost every single time on this player. And if you go ahead and throw that ball, as soon as he gets past that outside cloud flat, you throw a, a high and outside release, just basically right there, you're going to be able to get down in front of that safety. He's not going to be able to make that play. So you see right there, we got Earl Thomas now out of the zone here after those two completions. I want to go ahead and show you what this looks like if you decide to wait a little bit longer. So you see like here, let him run a, a couple yards. You see that we can kind of get out there and make that toe drag on the sideline still. I did a little click on swerve and back to the outside just to kind of give myself a better angle to get an animation where the DB couldn't hit me as it breaks to the sideline. But what you can see is from a standard depth in the cover two, you basically can't get over there and, and break that up. Now, there are animations sometimes where a zoned out safety will dive at the hip of the receiver and break up the pass. It's pretty rare. I'll try to show you an example here by waiting a little bit longer. You see right here, if I wait on it, that example, you could get a pass breakup. But again, guys, if you have like, you know, really solid catch in traffic, maybe even some abilities on this player, this is one of those things where you should be able to, you know, hold on to this ball pretty routinely against the cover two defense. Um, and you see, we're continuing to throw it over and over and over again. Now, if you think about how people play in mutt, when you play in mutt, you're facing Sean Taylor. Most people will probably have lurker enforcer maybe a tackling ability on him. Maybe some guys will use a universal coverage on a safety at that spot. But even then, as you see that we're getting this same animation every time outside release, and you're just going to go ahead and throw that ball right in that spot. And honestly, right there, I tried to rack it, um, but you possession catch it to guaranteed catch. If you rack it, if you get skilled at racking it, there's potential for you to get, you know, potential one play touchdowns. If you can really get this down. So you see right here, you know, try to rack it up field. If I don't, play the tiptoe game on that sideline, there's a chance that that's a touchdown. And again, this is all due to the spacing of this formation. This is not really anything crazy. If I were to run the same route combination out of other sets, there's a chance it probably doesn't even work. Um, but you see right here how when we do that little click on uh, swerve rack right there, we're able to really beat Earl Thomas easily. 
Now, if you're struggling with Earl Thomas or any type of safety really getting to that throw, something that I will do is I will put either the B receiver on a streak or I will put the Y receiver on a streak and try to motion snap. Now, some quarterbacks have pointing animations in game where you can't get the snap off, but if you can, try to get him where he runs the route down the seam and makes that safety have to play the distance, which is gonna allow you to kind of get out there. Now, right there, you see, we were still able to make that catch. I threw it mad late uh, just to kind of illustrate there. But if you're not able to get uh, that throw to the Y receiver or that motion snap to the Y receiver, try to streak the B receiver because uh, something we've talked about before is that even though the B route is on the opposite side of the field as Earl Thomas, Earl Thomas still has to respect a post route from that spot. So he, he'll try to split the difference just a little bit more, which will open up this throw to the other side a little bit easier. Um, again, you see right there, he he tries to make a swatting animation. I'm actually throwing the ball as late as possible just to kind of illustrate that there is a wide margin for error. If you practice this, um, you should be able to get it down pretty easily. But again, guys, if you really just want the guaranteed throwing animations, just go ahead and pop that throw right there. You see how easy we can get yardage out of that. Now, I've gone ahead and run this against 3-4 odd, cover two enough. Let's go ahead and uh, try to basically uh, show this to you from a variety of formations. So... I'm going to go ahead and just go through random cover two. There's going to be some situations where they run soft squats here. There's going to be situations where they run hard flats. We'll we'll talk through those points here. So let me go ahead and respot the ball against quarters three deep. Um, you're not going to face that too often. I'll try to show this to you here. So you see right here, there's that press outside release. That's a cloud flat. You see, again, very, very easy to make that throw. We're going to go through pretty much, uh, pretty much as many cover twos as we can here. So this looks like kind of a three, four, 3-4 package, the line is overshifted to strength, uh, possibly a 3-4 overlook here. Again, that same press animation, go ahead and throw the ball to the outside, toe drag on the sideline, easy click on a catch. This is pretty much a guaranteed 20 yards against cover two every single time. This looks like a nickel 2-4-5 package. Uh, again, right here, we're going to try this again. You're going to be looking at this animation, a little shoved to the outside, outside pass lead, click on, possession catch. First time we've dropped it at all in this was right there in that nickel 2-4-5. Uh, here's an example again of three four uh we're gonna be looking this looks like uh that looks like it was just a straight up hard flat and you see right there that he, he just let him run straight by that was an easy click on rack swerve for a touchdown so right there soft squat didn't even jam a free release down the sideline easy pickings right there uh we go ahead and go back to this looks like another three four package again looks like the same deal soft squat we're able to click on make that uh, catch to the outside. So that little Ohio concept with the inside receiver on an out route causes a soft squat to just let, let the route run. Very, very easy pitch and catch right there against a soft squat. So continue to run it here. See right there, there's that soft squat again. You know he's just gonna drop it off. Go ahead and throw that ball, rack, catch it. Easy, one play score against a soft squat. So they cannot play you know, that cover two blitz without moving the safety all the way back. If they play that cover two blitz or a cover two sink, this is going to be a one play score for you. Uh, you see right here, here's an example, cloud flat. We're gonna go ahead and throw that outside pass lead, click on, make the possession catch. There's that diving at the hip animation I was talking about right there. Sometimes you will get a zoned, zoned out safety that will get that animation, but it's not too often. Right there, you see the, the uh, soft squat opens his hips. You know right away when you run this, they're either gonna open their hips immediately and say, hey, go right by me and it's a touchdown, or they're gonna stand in front of you and kind of just shove you to the outside, which you're gonna be able to catch. Or if they play a hard flat, you're gonna get a pretty easy release as well. So you see right there, there's another cloud flat. We'll go ahead and click on, make that catch behind. So you guys get the drift at this point. This is absolutely money against the cover two shell. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, guys, this is in the Oakland Raiders playbook, but it's also in the Washington Redskins playbook. And what I'm gonna to try to talk to you guys about, you know, as I just think through the process, again, this will be available, uh, this thought process, but I'm gonna give it to you here as well. When we get into the actual offense that I'm running out of the Washington Redskins, obviously players are going to adapt. They're going to move their safeties out wide. They're going to start to try to take away that throw on the sideline. And that's why I really like the hot route master because then you have the ability to put guys on post routes and really beat the safety to, across the middle in between the safeties. You can really toy with them based off of no matter, no, no matter who they move. If there's somebody that moves their safeties, you still have the ability to put guys on routes that you otherwise wouldn't with the hot route master. And personally for me, that's why I love the Hot Route Master in the Washington Redskins book. And that's going to be available to my Twitch subs. So again, guys, if you have that Amazon Prime, we're going to be dropping this game plan within probably the next 10 to 14 days. I'm really excited to get to it. There's been a lot of hype around it when I've been streaming on Twitch. I hope you guys will check me out over there as well. Again, guys, the link is in the description.
Thank you so much for the support here, guys. Again, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you guys tomorrow with our next upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.